<laughs> Either way, it is National Day of Prayer. It is May 4th, 2023. I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And you tuned into the Morning Devotion. We're here to encourage you in the Word. So that you can be strong in the faith. And live victoriously in Christ. Heavenly Amen. Father, Lord, this is National Day of Prayer. Sorry. I pray and I ask, Lord, that you would just help us, Father, to, to remember, Lord, all the things that we are called to pray for. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, anoint this time that we may encourage people to spend time with you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, one of, one of the reasons, if I can just start with this one scripture, that National Day of Prayer is important, is this. Proverbs 29.2 says this, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, mm. the people mourn. So do we want a nation that's rejoicing? Do you want rejoicing in your life? Well, then we need to pray for our leaders. Which is government. That's the first point. There are seven prayer points mm -hmm. that are available um, for praying and, and guides. I did post those up directly from the National Day of Prayer website. Mm -hmm. They're posted on our personal page and they are also posted on uh, Osceola NDP. Yes. Um, or is it in. Yeah. Either Osceola NDP or NDP Osceola. I think it's NDP Osceola. I think I might have posted them on Matt and Randy too, but either way, either way. The first thing that we should pray for is government. Pray for our local state and national leaders, asking God to grant them wisdom. Mosquitoes. Not bug on me. Wisdom, discernment, and hearts full that are open to His leading. Let's pray real quick. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray for Lord our government. Father, for President Biden, Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus that you put your hand upon him. Lord, help his mind to work, Lord, properly. Father, but guide him, Father, in righteousness. Put your hand on the senators and Lord, also those that are in the house and Lord, our government from the state level to the Osceola County level. Lord, that you would put your hand upon all those in authority over us and give them godly instruction. Surround them with godly people. Lord, that righteousness may prevail in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's praying for our government. It's important because God put them there and God told us to pray for them. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell us to complain about them all the time. He said to pray for them. Amen. And we can pray that, you know, those that will not submit to him, Lord, remove them and put the ones that will. Number two. <laughs> church. You're going to read that. Yes. Pray for the churches and church leaders throughout our nation and in our community. Ask God to preserve and protect them as he inspires and empowers them to equip his saints for the work of the ministry, for the building up of the church, and for the spreading of the gospel. Amen. Quick prayer on church. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask in the yes. name of Jesus, Lord, that discernment. Lord, yes. Father, be in our churches, in our church Inspire leaders. Ministers. Holy Spirit, Lord. may you be able to have your word, yes. your way in our churches, bringing conviction where conviction is needed, encouragement where encouragement is needed. May we have hearts that are repentful and willing to say, I'm sorry, Lord, and return to you the way you want us to, Lord. May we be holy as you are holy, Lord. May we walk in your love and your authority. Father, may we preach the truth without fear of what man may think, O oh Lord. May we not be those that are tickling the ears, but may the church be the one that gives out the truth in love, as you sent Jesus to give us the truth yes. in love, O oh Lord. Yes. May we be willing to sacrifice what you call of us to sacrifice for your glory, for your honor, for the salvation of souls. In Jesus' name, Lord, thank you. Amen. This is National Day of Prayer, so we're going to be praying for each one of these points in case you're just now tuning in. The third point is to pray for our military, and we all probably know or have somebody that, that is a friend of ours or even a family member that is actively serving in the military or has served or is on reserves. These people need our prayer. They're under a tremendous amount of stress. So let's pray for our military. Heavenly Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray for, Lord, those that are serving our country in whatever way that they are called to serve. 
Lord, that your Holy Spirit would be upon them and give them boldness and strength, Lord, when it is needed. Help them to stand up for what is right. Lord, I pray that you would take those, Lord, that are believers in you and let them be, Lord, your mouthpiece to speak the right words at the right time to the right place. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray and I ask it. Help our military, not just ours, Lord, but any military that is in this whole world that would be standing against your statutes, Lord. Take care of that, Lord. Bring conviction. Bring your, your Lord, Holy Spirit into their lives that they may see that they're fighting against you. In Jesus' name, amen. Anybody who stands against the Lord, the Lord stands. And, and this, this is something that I want to read real quick. George Washington said, it's impossible to rightly govern the world without God and the Bible. That's George Washington. Number four, an area that's been under a tremendous attack recently is the family. family. And it, this is what it says how we should pray. Say, pray for families in our nation, in your state, and throughout your community. God's model for the family is being challenged, and we are seeing families fall apart before our very eyes. Pray with passion for the Lord to protect and to strengthen marriages. Encourage parents towards His priorities, heal relationships, and secure His values in their home. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask that there just be a returning back to you, O oh yes, Lord, Lord, in biblical marriage, Father, Lord. in homes that are ruled by your word, Father. Lord, not in the ways of this world, but in the ways of your world, Lord. For what profit is it if we teach our kids how to make money and do all these worldly things, O oh Lord, that they may become, Father, the top champions, the best in every area that they are, but yet them not know you. It's all in vain, Lord, because they'll still end up in hell. So, Lord, I ask, Almighty, that you just give a breakthrough, Lord, in families, that we return back to biblical basis. Father, I pray that in the homes, I know that almost every home has a Bible, Lord, that it be able to just all of a sudden yes. catch their attention, yes, Lord. Lord, in the name of and Jesus. that the children begin to ask, "What is yes, that? Lord. Why do we have that?" And let us return back to you, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Number five, education. <laughs> Another area that just seems like it's been under attack. Yeah. There are certain yeah, things that are not truth. The opposite for for me of not truth or, or truth the opposite is lie or fabrication and there are some people that are very very inspired or not not inspired yeah they're inspired but they're inspired from the, the wrong, wrong side yeah. to promote something that is just outright false uh, a complete lie and our education used to be founded on the the Ten Commandments and the yes. Bible was part of the curriculum and godliness and honesty and saying the truth yes. and doing the truth and following things like the Ten Commandments. When I was growing up, we prayed in school in the morning. That's yes. how the school morning started off, with a, a prayer. And then it got turned into a moment of silence. Now, then it becomes like we don't want anything like that. And we don't want the Bibles. Yeah. We don't want any of that in our schools. And now they've gone off to promoting things which are contrary to Scripture. We need to yes. pray for our education. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray for the teachers of God. Father, I pray for principals. Father, I pray for school directors. Father, I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, for our educational system. I pray, Lord, for teachers that are retired. God, that they may continue, Lord, to help people. Father, I pray, Lord, for those that are listening to teachers that are promoting something which is contrary to your word, that, Lord, you just help them not to allow that to be deposited into their heart. God, I pray for teachers who are promoting godliness and truthfulness and honesty, that, Lord, you would elevate them to positions of authority, Lord, that they may help direct and steer the education of our youth. Father, let your word, Lord, be a foundation for so many great lessons 
that our young people may learn. Protect them, Lord, from the, the onslaught that is coming against them in schools. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Media is point number six. Pray for Christian influence in the media industry. From movies, television, and radio stations to newspaper and magazine publishers, ask for the Lord to provide godly men and women to work in and influence the media throughout the nation, your state, and every city. Dear Heavenly Father, we do lift up to you the media. Father, I ask, Lord God Almighty, that you raise up and give favor, Lord, yes. to Christians. Yes. Father, I pray even those that are not Christians, Father, that they have a hunger to begin to just seek the good things that the churches are doing, that ministries are doing. Lord, that as they're covering the news, your word be proclaimed. Yes. Lord, whether they realize it or not, Father, you have used in the past men that did not know you, Lord, to elevate yes. to positions those that do know you, Father, oh, Lord, that they may be a blessing to the hearers. Yes. God Almighty, you are the truth. Let your truth flow through every area of our media, Lord. Give discernment to your people, to your church, O oh Lord, to know what is truth and what is not. Father, if there's a little bit of poison, Father, I ask that it be revealed and shown, Lord, that there be no deception in Jesus' name. Just real quick note on media. If you're if you're not into uh, social media, which of course we are because of what we do, um, the the term has been applied to a lot of people that run YouTube channels or, or Snapchat or a any one of those or TikTok that they're now being called influencers because they're influencing yeah. people. Be careful who you allow your children or grandchildren yes. to be influenced by because there are many voices out there that would influence them incorrectly. And so watch that mm -hmm. and, and protect your children's minds from the influence of influencers that don't have God. And here's the thing too, with that, don't worry about showing them what is wrong. If you show then them the truth, right. Amen. show them what is right, hide God's word in their hearts, give them a love for God's word, and then they'll know that it's wrong. Amen. Business is the last one that we're going to pray for. Uh, local businesses are essential for the local economy. Yes. Local businesses pay taxes back into the local economy. And local business is often different than, than big franchise stores yeah. because it is somebody who is dependent upon you shopping there or you going mm -hmm. and, and, and spending time at their restaurants and spending time at their stores. And, and it's crucial. But they have to stand up for godliness. I was say, yeah, watch they they what need they stand to for. and stand up for. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't want certain businesses to to prosper. And I'm not praying for those that are promoting a, a brothel. <laughs> I wouldn't be promoting those that are that that are promoting pornography or those that are bringing out stuff that is against God's word. Against God's word. <laughs> yeah. But if it's a restaurant. That's they're not promoting eat this devil hot dog and pray <laughs> to the devil. Uh, that's not what I'm referring to But just that, that God would give businesses a blessing yeah. Especially to those that are closing on on Sundays the Lord's Day yes. or, or even those that are closed on Saturdays because they're they're celebrating the Sabbath mm -hmm. for for that businesses just need to be touched and, and blessed, but they should be they, they should be supported by the local community. This is what it says. Pray for divine intervention in our national, state, and local economics. Ask that God raise up godly business leaders and create industry to provide honest employment and generous provision for individuals and families in each community. This, this is what we're to pray for, is just that, that they be a part of the community and that God would raise them up. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray for these businesses. Yes. Lord, there are businesses and, and all over that need a touch from you. Father, businessmen, businesswomen that are, Lord, fighting battles of depression when the economic structure of our country seems to be tumbling and they don't know where they're going to get the income to pay their bills and it, they, they just feel overwhelmed. 
Lord, I pray for those business owners now. Father, that you would bring a scripture to their mind. Perhaps they haven't heard it or, or perhaps deposited into their heart that all things work together for the good for them that love God and are called according to his purpose. Lord, bring that thought into it and let them know that somehow, some way, it's going to work out if they put their faith and love in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I know it's been a little bit longer, but it is National Day of Prayer, and we did have seven points. Again, these are listed up on online. We will be at the courthouse in Osceola County from 12 to 1. We will be at City Hall in Kissimmee from 12 to 1. And, and St. Cloud. Boat Basin Pavilion because of all the construction still yep. going in City Hall. They're having construction in City Hall, so they're going to be at the Boat Basin Pavilion, say that three times fast, <laughs> and come on out and support the local pastors who have, have made the effort to do something for National Day of Prayer. Our, our country needs prayer. Randy's going to end with this statement from Ronald Reagan. If we ever forget that we're one nation under God, we will be a nation gone under. Thank you for joining us. Keep a praise song in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow.